Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. USC goal. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon, looking to build on his legacy. Yeah, we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Bones Jones has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. This will be first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Alex Politan Pereira. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, our third Great man fight. in the octagon for this Great. one. Let's do it. So here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. In nearly every fight, he's going to have a massive reach advantage. So we'll see what he chooses to do here in the early going, if he leans on the grappling or the wrestling. But that reach is a very powerful thing in modern-day mixed martial arts. It's one thing to have a reach advantage. It's another thing to use it as masterfully as John Jones has done in the past. So the kickboxer able to stay on his feet, at least for now. This is where he wants the fight, and you got to think stuff in the first shot's going to give him some confidence. It's got to give him a ton of confidence. He said that he would be able to defend takedowns. He said that he was going to put it on this guy. But that was the first test. He's passed. Now let's see if he can continue to defend takedowns as they come in this direction. Oh, good kicks.
Is his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh! Man, these knees are really starting to do a lot of damage to his opponent here tonight. Oh, he slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the round. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slammed back down to the mat. Well, his opponent has done a pretty good job staying in the fight despite the fact that he has absorbed so many flush knees and to so many different locations. Look at those stats there, bottom of your screen. Absolutely incredible. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Jones's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps they're on the bridge. Right into side control. Jones is in half goal. All right, north south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Alex Pineda gets up. He is back on the feet here. Not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Well, he rocked him, but he couldn't finish. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not get the lights off. And now, he passed for trying to find that shot again. Oh, big Oh, huge left. Two minutes. Out of range with that one. Seconds to go here in round one. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. It's okay, it's okay. Keep going. Alex Pereira gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. 15 seconds to go. Effective strike there by Jones. Oh. Another takedown land. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. His nose is significantly damaged after his opponent's handiwork in that previous round. It's smashed. It's smashed, John, and you see the cut on it. You see the bruising. What's, it's bad now. But in a couple days, it'll be much worse. Yeah. Because that's when you get the black eyes and you start to look like a freaking penguin. The guy is taking too many shots with his head. He's not doing a great job of moving his head off the center line. If he wants to win this fight, he has got to be smarter in his approach. And he is toughness personified, but you got to think that that nose, in terms of his breathing pattern, is going to start to give him issues as this fight presses on. Come on, come on. 
Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jones. Nice job by Johnny Bones there on the feet. I'm not in the prediction business, but if he... Oh, oh, since mentally it appears as though he's checked out with him. a lot easier said than done when his opponent has the with a huge knockout tonight go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at one minute, 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. All right, so it is Alex Pereira by knockout. Get used to hearing that. One of the more powerful, explosive middleweights on the roster and really just getting going. He's so good at what he does that if you stand with him, he can shut your lights out with one strike. The guy is fantastic.